A wall tent is shaped like a cabin. It's tall enough and wide enough to stand up in and walk around. This type of tent is typically used as a base camp on more demanding trips. Unlike a smaller camping tent, it can accommodate a lot of your creature comforts, making it a canvas home from home. These wall tents are made of sturdy canvas. They have a zip-up screen over the doorway and windows to keep out the insects. They also have a vent hole in the roof to accommodate a real stove. They can be made with lightweight canvas, making it easier to transport on trips. Depending on the number of tent orders to be filled, the factory's fabric cutter layers up to 10 sheets of canvas on the cutting table. Following a pattern, he draws guidelines, then aligns them one at a time on a track along which the cutting knife rides. Once he's cut all the canvas pieces for one tent, he hands them over to a sewing machinist. She overlaps adjoining pieces and using a double needle sewing machine, binds them with two parallel lines of stitching. This produces a durable weather resistant seam. The stove ventilation system is next. She sews what they call a stovepipe shield to the roof then cuts away the canvas underneath. The shield is a fiberglass fabric rectangle with a silicon ring in the center through which you push the stovepipe. After neatly finishing the edges, she attaches a canvas flap that zips shut to close off the stovepipe shield and rolls up and ties to open it. She also sews a canvas weather flap which closes over the tent's front door. Extra protection in bad weather. She sews a row of D-rings to the edge of one flap. Then sews hooks to the corresponding door flap. They're both made of stainless steel, which never rusts, even with repeated exposure to moisture. These sturdy hooks and rings will keep the flaps securely closed in windy weather. The cutter, meanwhile, traces templates on heavy-duty fiberglass screen, then cuts the screens for the tent's rear and side window. The sewer stitches webbing to the window's perimeter. It's a cotton seal, which keeps out rain, snow and wind. Meanwhile, the zip is sewn to the door screen. She also sews seatbelt material inside the roof fan. Then, pairs of grommets roughly a meter apart are placed alongside this reinforced perimeter. Once you've pitched your tent, you can secure it by looping ropes through these grommets and tying them to pegs in the ground. The tent floor is made of vinyl, and the floor pieces are joined using a radio frequency welder. It emits radio waves which melt the material, fusing the overlapping edges into a seam. The internal frame is made from heavy-duty galvanized steel tubing. They're connected with stainless steel couplers. In quality control, they assemble the tent before sending it out. After laying out the couplers, they insert the frame pieces to form the roof, fit the tent fabric over the roof framework, and insert the legs to prop up the structure. Then they pull down the walls. Tying back the flaps, they lay down the floor, which simply snaps into place. If you're two people who get along, the entire setup takes about 10 minutes. Then it's just a matter of installing the wood or coal burning stove. Once that's done, it's a nice cup of cocoa, then off to bed. After a round of Ging Gang Gooly Gooly Watcher, round the fire that is.